Oh, there, Jacob. I'll uh, be on my way now. Take care of yourself, lad. Is there somewhere you can go? Maybe. If they'll have me. If I can find them. Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. Bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? Another road to nowhere. Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. I've nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Stupid country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. No way through here neither, far as I can see.
What do you see? Spectres have gathered around. Why not force them to appear? They never learn, do they? I'm still here. Get out of there! Let's get back up! This isn't over yet. Hugging all the fun. There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure you can. Just try to be gentle this time. Here. That's high. Trust me.
Yes! Remind me to close my eyes next time. Up. What happened? Rope trap. Jacob Lind mentioned a hunter's camp. It may be close. <sighs> Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Who are you and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water. And the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. You try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you. In that oh. case, banish her. You may escape the trap yourself. Wait. What? No, no, come on! Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shit! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. Good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No.
Try this on for size. This place is empty so long it's rotting. Signs of life ahead. Back up. This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. We did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar and a thousand times more ghastly. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town.
Vanisher. You made it. Come up. I wish a word with you. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye. Well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in, pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Hungry? Child, you have no idea. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hake. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bar. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane. Talk to Prudence. Check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right. Got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the dark woods. Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams, aye. The worst kind. We all do. A nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams... Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. It howls and hunts from the shadows. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too, and those who've travelled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston, as we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here, on the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? 
Where's your sister? Out. Making the rounds. Hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays, while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone? She's thrice the hunter anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. Have you been here long? Huh. Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some. For others it stands still. There's no night, so counting days is difficult. What would thick skin say? <laughs> She'd say about a month. She'd be lying. We both counted days, but the numbers didn't tally. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. These folk have not escaped the curse. Who about the place needs help, do you think? Something's not right at the forge. You could start there. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. So you want a map? Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way is Boston? Or do you wish... ...to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? Captain Wass. And it smells better than Jacob Lynn's lean to. Poor lad. I wonder where he'll go.
Yeah. No, we won't freeze. I won't freeze. Right, let's go make ourselves useful. If the Nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. Forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. These nails look brittle. resonate here. What is metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. 
can't be easy to maintain a camp with a bad blacksmith. What kind of forge has no tools? Sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. Startled. Oh well, ain't you a sight? Who are you then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner too. Nelly, Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. To the point, madam, Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband, too. He around. Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Could he have gone out in search of material? Doubtful. He's exhausted. He doesn't sleep. He works day and night. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. The forge is empty, no tools. Any idea why? No tools? That's strange. Why would your husband take tools with him? Why would he take all the tools with him? I don't know. Here's the thing. In your forge, I, I found a puddle of salt water. Any idea how it got there? The forge uses a lot of water, but that doesn't explain the salt. It had the mark of a ghost. What think you of that? A ghost? Lord, is my fortune in danger? Honestly, I don't know. I'm looking into it, I hope not. So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible, watchful. When she speaks, I listen. What think you of thick skinned Newsmith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart, even if she doesn't show it. Why else would she shield us from the beast? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. The beast is worrisome, tis true. But thick skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine.
Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right, let's. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. I have a feeling about the bed. I sense an echo somewhere nearby. In Shaw in Drast, the Toki Min No ghost threatening Nelly. That's her husband. It seemed like he was fighting the urge to hurt her. 
So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. There are stains here. I can show you them. Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. A moment. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. Think of the blacksmith and his wife. A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy too. Aye, but whose? from the invisible. Come out, to safe. Uh, are, they, are they gone? I thank you, whoever you may be, for whatever you have done. I thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the manager. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. 
Bit of fresh air, bit of light. Forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them. And then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them, as deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe, no, I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe... Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. So, you're the blacksmith. What's that like, then? Uh, it's all right, I suppose. You busy? Yes, of course I am. Uh, lots of building work to be done. That means nails, a whole lot of nails, like an ocean of stupid bloody nails. I love when a man takes pride in his work. I heard you praying. I thought I recognised the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought they sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just... Coincidence? <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am... was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it to yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. How are things with Nelly? Good. Yeah, good. It's, uh... Nice. Having a wife. A home. Nelly is, uh... A fine woman. Clever. Brave. Generous and kind. She's a blessing. How did you meet? Me? How did we meet? Well, you know, we just, uh, met. Does he not remember? Or does he not want to say? Come now, Mr. Heaton. No need to be embarrassed. A wee bit of romance is good for a man. Romance? It's not. I, uh... I helped her with a thing. She helped me with a thing. We stayed together, helping each other with things. Doing right by one another can bring a couple together. Doesn't always need romance. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <laughs> Thank you. Mine! 
Mine! Mine! Mine, oh mine! The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flutter from the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. I see the blacksmith has gone. I feel something close. remains call for a ritual and a lot of caution. Show your shape in flesh! That's not the ritual I'd have used. Turn out and turn up! Have another in sight. Watch out, Spectre possession. Run again, huh? Stay down. 
for my solo. Doors blocked on the other side. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. He's no blacksmith, he's lying. We sent him home, I hope he's no danger to Nelly. Standing by. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross.
I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then. Let's trigger the trap. This one. Devil take you. Watch out. Spectre position. You're done. That's enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're now Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. Killed a man with his own hammer. We should talk to his ghost. Show yourself and join me now.
we are the Banishes Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times, I'm tempted to agree. Who are you, and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name. All mine. The bastard stole them. So you're telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work, my name, my wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful, scheming, errant. Oh. Watch it. Red, come on. Distempered, feeble, a weak woman, demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it, and I shall have it back. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. He was a bastard, but not to his murder. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet. I'm concerned for their safety. If we want to stop for a wee minute, 
This place will do. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us. The right words of power may force the nearby spectres to show themselves. Unveil yourself! Hugging all the fun. They brought more 
flames. Possession incoming. business now. Did we miss a few? Is luck in here. Time to work, Vanisher.
was that? Yes. Something's here. I think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. You should have said something. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the Banisher knows? No. Though I'd not swear on it. He's no fool. I am no Puritan, he must know that at least. Pride from my grasp. I want my work, my name, my wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. Piss off, Heaton, and no more scheming. Hush! Someone's coming. Banisher! You're back! Mr. McRae, my man came back and I hear of you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Eaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe. Maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end, but I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. You're not Fortune Eaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man, a repentant, hard-working man, 
If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. Always on me. How did you two meet? <laughs> Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He is as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. Companions in murder. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor. And his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? Fortune Heaton. Dead as alive, you're an angry man. Time to go. I made her. She is mine. I built it all, and they took it from me. And now your work and your name shall pass to Arthur Carty while you enter oblivion. Nelly will run the forge, and a better version of Fortune Heaton will walk the world. I am Fortune Heaton. Ever was, and ever will be. Not anymore. Be gone. Be gone. Is it over? Is it done? Aye. He's gone. What will you tell the others? Will you expose us? Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't. My eternal gratitude to you, sir. Thank you. <laughs>